Hi guys, welcome back. In the previous lesson, we learned the colors in Arabic. In today's lesson, we're going to learn the basics of using colors as adjectives. So we're essentially going to look at the interaction between nouns and adjectives in the Levantine dialect, specifically Jordanian and Palestinian dialects. The most important thing that you need to remember is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The other thing that you need to know is that nouns and adjectives in Arabic agree in gender, number, and definiteness. We're going to illustrate this with examples, and we're going to see how a noun and an adjective can be used together to create a simple, complete sentence. Stay tuned until the end for two new colors and a fun, short dialogue. Let's get started! Let's look at these two examples. Bab asfar, ta'iye hamra. Bab asfar, bab, door, asfar, yellow, a yellow door. Ta'iye hamra, ta'iye hat, hamra, red, a red hat. The first thing that you notice with the example bab asfar is that the noun Bab, door, comes before the adjective asfar in Arabic. Noun first and then adjective. Let's look at agreement. Bab and asfar agree in gender. Both are masculine. They agree in number, singular, and definiteness. They're both undefined without al tarif. Both the noun and the adjective bab u asfar do not have a litarif, giving us an indefinite phrase. A yellow door. Ta'iye hamra, we have agreement in gender. They're both feminine. Ta'iye is feminine. You can see ta marbuta at the end there. And hamra is feminine. The masculine form is ahmar. Number both are singular and definiteness again. Both the noun and the adjective are undefined without a litarif. Two more examples. Ilbet al abyad. Ilbet al abyad. Ilkasat al zuru. Ou ilkasat al zara. Ilbet al abyad. Ilbet the house. Al abyad, the white. So it means the white house. Again, they agree in gender, both are masculine, they agree in number, both are singular, and they agree in definiteness. Both of the noun and the adjective here, al bayt and al abyad, have al tarif. So it gives us a definite phrase the white house. If the noun has al tarif then the adjective also takes al tarif in a definite phrase. The second example, al kasat al zuru or al kasat al zara Here we have the plural. If you learned standard Arabic, you might have learned that plural nouns usually take the singular feminine form of the adjectives. For formal Arabic, that is correct. For dialect, however, that is not necessarily the case. Plural nouns can take the singular feminine form, for example, zera, and sometimes they take the singular masculine form, and sometimes they could take the plural, as in zuru in this example. There are no clear cut rules for this in dialect. We can use a noun and a color to form a complete sentence. Look at this example. Shu lon liktab. Shu lon liktab. What color is the book? Shu, what? Lon, color. Liktab, the book. Note that there is no equivalent of verb to be in the question in Arabic. To answer, Liktab Ahmar. Liktab Ahmar. The book is red. Here we have a definite noun, 
الكتاب with ال التعريف and an indefinite adjective أحمر without ال التعريف Using a definite noun and an indefinite adjective gives us a to be sentence. To create these simple sentences in Arabic, we don't use verb to be. In this sentence, we just have two words. There is no equivalent of is or of verb to be in this sentence. Liktab ahmar. As you can see, in Arabic, we can form complete sentences without using a verb. And it gives the meaning of a to-be sentence in English. A note on pronunciation. In formal Arabic, we say al-kitab. Al-kitab. In dialect, we make it easier. And we say liktab. Liktab. Look at how the way we use al tarif can change the meaning. طاولة سكنية طاولة سكنية A great table. Both are without a للتعريف. الطاولة السكنية الطاولة السكنية The great table. Both the noun and the adjective here have a للتعريف. الطاولة سكنية الطاولة سكنية The table is gray. Here, this is a complete sentence with a noun that is defined and an adjective that is undefined without al tarif More simple complete sentences. عندي بلوزة خمرية عندي بلوزة خمرية I have a dark red or wine-colored blouse. عندي I have بلوزة blouse خمرية dark red or wine colored wine is خمر خمرية is wine colored بحب اللون الكحلي بحب اللون الكحلي I like the color navy blue بحب I like or I love اللون the color اللون the color الكحلي the dark blue or the navy blue. Ayunu zuru. Ayunu zuru. His eyes are blue. Ayunu. Ayun. Eyes. Ayunu. His eyes. Zuru. Blue. Ayunu are considered a defined noun because we know which eyes we're talking about. Ayunu zuru. His eyes are blue. Listen to this, or read this, and see if you can figure out what it means. بدك بيض أبيض ولا بيض بني؟ بدي من التنين كرتونة بيضة وكرتونة بنية. بدي أصبغ البيض أحمر. رح أجرب بيضة بيضة وبيضة بنية وأشوف أني بتطلع أحلى. Did you get it? Okay, let's break it down. بدك بيض أبيض ولا بيض بني؟ بدك Do you want بدك if you're speaking to a woman and بدك if you're speaking to a man بيض أبيض White eggs ولا or بيض بني Brown eggs Do you want white or brown eggs؟ بدي من التنين بدي I want من from التنين the both بدي من التنين I want from both of them I want both كرتونة بيضة a white carton so a carton of white eggs وكرتونة بنية and a brown carton or a carton of brown eggs so I want from both white and brown بدي أصبغ البيض أحمر بدي, I want, again, أصبغ, to dye. I want to dye or I want a color. البيض, the eggs, أحمر, red. So I want to dye them the color red. 
رح أجرب بيضة بيضة رح أجرب I will try بيضة بيضة A white egg وبيضة بالنية And a brown egg وأشوف And see Any Which one You can say any or you can say أي وأشوف أي تطلع أحلى بتطلع turns out أحلى prettier So I'm going to try with one white egg and one brown egg and see which one turns out to be prettier And that's the end of the lesson today Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this lesson Stay safe and until next time. Ma salame. Bye.